The Big Bang is a thought that has framed how we could decipher the universe, outlining the supporting of current cosmology according to Einstein's theory. Additionally, what is known as course-reading cosmology, the Big Bang was the second the universe began its extension, meaning the making of all matter, energy, and presence. This event happened roughly 13.8 billion years ago and led to the immense universe we notice today. However, late advancements in cosmology suggest that the Big Bang likely wasn't the outright beginning. Rather, there might have been a stage before the colossal explosion that was also critical in forming the universe as far as we might be concerned. This pre-period is known as inflationary development. Inflation is one of the most captivating pieces of modern cosmology. It suggests that before the hot, dense time of the Big Bang, the universe went through an incredibly rapid exponential expansion. During this period, the universe was duplicating in size at a dazzling rate. To precisely delineate how extreme this expansion was, if the universe started smaller than a particle, it would have extended to be tremendously larger than the entire visible universe within a small fraction of a second, around one quadrillionth of a second. This development stage didn't last long, but it played a critical role in shaping the universe. When the inflationary stage completed, the energy driving this development was released into space, warming it up and making the particles of matter that make up all that we find in the universe. In many ways, inflation is the precursor to what we consider the Big Bang. While the theory of inflation is widely accepted in cosmology today, many unanswered questions remain. For instance, we don't yet understand what started inflation, what made it stop, or how long it lasted. These are open questions in cosmology, and answering them is crucial for a deeper understanding of the origins of the universe. Before inflation, the universe was an incredibly dense, tiny place of matter, often referred to as a singularity. From this singularity, inflation began and eventually led to the formation of molecules, particles, stars, and galaxies. The concept of the Big Bang as the start of everything is compelling, but modern cosmology suggests a more intricate picture. Some theories suggest that the universe went through a phase before the Big Bang. During this stage, inflation caused the universe to expand at an exceptional rate, increasing in size by an incredible factor by a trillionth of a second. This rapid expansion was fueled by a strange form of energy that filled empty space. When inflation ended, the energy that had driven this expansion was converted into particles, heating the universe and leading to the hot, dense state we call the Big Bang. This inflationary stage was cold and empty, but it set the stage for the creation of matter and the universe we see today. One of the more speculative ideas in modern cosmology is the concept of eternal inflation. This theory suggests that inflation didn't shut down all at once. Rather, it stopped in patches, creating different pockets, each of which could be a universe in its own right. Our universe would be just one of these patches. According to eternal inflation, there could be an infinite number of these universes, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. This is where the possibility of the multiverse comes into play, the idea that our universe might be just one of many, or even an infinite number of universes. If this idea proves true, it could explain why our universe is so finely tuned for life. In this multiverse scenario, every possible combination of physical laws could exist in different universes, and we just happen to live in one where conditions are perfect for stars to form and for carbon, oxygen, and other elements necessary for life to exist. While theories like eternal inflation and the multiverse remain speculative, the idea of inflation itself is grounded in observational evidence. The strongest support for inflation comes from the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB the oldest light in the universe. The CMB was produced nearly 380,000 years after the Big Bang when the universe cooled enough for molecules to form. By then, the universe became transparent, and this light has been traveling through space ever since. By studying the CMB, cosmologists can essentially take a baby picture of the universe. The light provides clues about the universe's earliest days, helping researchers understand what happened shortly after the Big Bang and supporting the inflationary model. One of the most important discoveries came from the European Space Agency's Planck satellite, which took detailed pictures of the CMB. These pictures reveal subtle variations in the temperature of the early universe, and these variations match predictions made by inflationary theory. This experimental evidence strengthens the idea that inflation is not just a theoretical model, 
but a crucial part of how we understand the universe's origins. Understanding the Big Bang and what happened before it requires uniting two of the most important theories in modern physics. Einstein's theory of general relativity and quantum theory. General relativity describes the large-scale structure of the universe, including the behavior of galaxies, stars, and planets, while quantum theory describes the behavior of particles on the smallest scales. To answer the big questions in cosmology, such as what the universe is made of and where it came from, scientists need to develop a theory that merges these two frameworks. This would allow us to understand not only the Big Bang, but also the conditions that led to it. One of the most astounding aspects of the universe is its size. The most distant objects we can observe are about 47 billion light years away, meaning the observable universe is about 94 billion light years across. This might seem strange given that the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. How could the observable universe be larger than the time it would take light to travel across it during the universe's lifetime? The answer lies in the fact that the universe has been expanding over time. As the universe expands, the distance between objects increases, making distant objects farther away than the time it would take light to reach us. Most scientists believe that the universe stretches far beyond the observable universe. In fact, it's possible that the entire universe is infinite in size. The observable universe is simply the part we can see, limited by how much time light has had to travel since the Big Bang. There may be vast regions of the universe that we will never be able to observe. While it's conceivable that the universe is infinite, the question remains, is there anything beyond the universe? Most scientists are skeptical about this idea. If the universe is infinite, there would be no outside to it. The universe would simply continue forever. Even if the universe is finite, it might not make sense to talk about anything beyond it. Beyond would imply something outside of space, which itself is a property of the universe. So the idea of beyond the universe may not have any physical meaning. Just as the origin of the universe is a subject of great study, so too is its possible end. The best current estimate is that the universe will continue expanding forever. This is due to a mysterious phenomenon known as dark energy, which is causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. Before the discovery of dark energy, scientists believed that the universe's expansion would eventually slow down due to the gravitational pull of matter. There was even a possibility that the universe could stop expanding and start contracting, leading to a big crunch. However, dark energy seems to be pushing the universe apart more rapidly. If this acceleration continues, the universe will keep expanding indefinitely, eventually reaching a state where galaxies are so far apart that they become isolated from one another. In this scenario, the universe would become cold, dark, and empty. Stars would burn out, galaxies would drift apart, and matter would eventually decay. This is sometimes called the Big Freeze or the Heat Death of the Universe. The story of the universe, from the Big Bang to its possible end, is one of the most important and complex tales in science. While we've learned a great deal about the origins of the universe through the theory of inflation and the study of the cosmic microwave background, many questions remain unanswered. What caused inflation to begin and end? What lies beyond the observable universe? Is there a multiverse, and if so, how many other universes exist? As researchers continue to study the universe using advanced technology and theories that unite quantum mechanics with general relativity, we will undoubtedly gain deeper insights into these mysteries. The journey to understand the universe is ongoing, and every discovery brings us one step closer to answering the ultimate questions about our world. The exploration of the universe's origins and structure is not just a scientific endeavor. It also raises philosophical questions about existence, reality, and our place in the universe. One major area of interest in cosmology is the nature of dark matter, which is believed to make up roughly 27% of the universe's mass energy content. Unlike ordinary matter, dark matter doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects on visible matter. Understanding dark matter is essential for explaining the formation and behavior of galaxies. Ongoing studies and observations have provided insights into dark matter's properties, but its exact nature remains elusive. Several candidates have been proposed, 
including weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, axions, and other exotic particles. However, so far, no direct evidence of dark matter particles has been found. As the search continues through a combination of terrestrial experiments, astrophysical observations, and simulations that model how dark matter impacts the large-scale structure of the universe, we are gaining a better understanding of this mysterious substance. Another key area of research is dark energy, the enigmatic force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Dark energy makes up about 68% of the universe's total mass energy content. Its discovery was unexpected and has led to many theories, including the cosmological constant and dynamic fields. Understanding dark energy is crucial, as it will determine the ultimate fate of the universe. Researchers are studying its effects on cosmic structures and trying to determine whether it remains constant over time or evolves. In addition to dark matter and dark energy, the study of large-scale structure formation provides important insights into the universe's history. Observations of the cosmic web, a vast network of galaxies, clusters, and filaments, have revealed how matter has clumped together under the influence of gravity, leading to the complex structures we see today. Simulations run on supercomputers help scientists understand how these structures formed over billions of years and continue to evolve. Astrobiology also intersects with cosmology as researchers look to understand the conditions necessary for life beyond Earth. The search for exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has intensified with thousands discovered in recent years. Some of these exoplanets lie in their star's habitable zone, where conditions might be right for liquid water to exist. By studying these distant worlds, scientists hope to learn more about the potential for life elsewhere in the universe and the factors that make a planet hospitable to life. Finally, the role of fundamental physics in cosmology cannot be overstated. The quest for a unified theory that combines general relativity and quantum mechanics continues to challenge physicists. Theories like string theory and loop quantum gravity aim to bridge these two realms, offering explanations for phenomena like black holes and the early universe. As technology advances, so too does our ability to observe and interpret cosmic phenomena. Space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are revolutionizing our understanding of the universe, providing unprecedented detail of distant galaxies and cosmic events. With each new observation, we move closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe's evolution, development, and ultimate fate. The study of the universe is a rich tapestry of scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection. From the fundamental forces that shape large-scale structures to the search for extraterrestrial life, our exploration is a testament to humanity's enduring curiosity about the cosmos as we strive to answer these profound questions and, in doing so, gain a deeper appreciation for the vastness and complexity of the universe.